Hey everyone, it's Jake with Jet Collectibles, and today I have a Modern Horizons 2 Collector Booster Box. So I've been waiting for this set for a long time, really looking forward to opening this. Uh, kind of was on the fence if I wanted to grab a box or just some packs. Uh, my shop was a little pricier than I'd hoped for. Uh, they were $4.50 for a box there at my local shop. But uh, you do he was giving away two promos. For the buy box promo, the uh, Sanctum Prelate, and the Fable Passage. So I was expecting maybe just the Fable Passage, but this uh, Sanctum Prelate was thrown in as a bonus. So I felt like it kind of made up a little bit for the increase in price, I guess. So we'll see. I know these boxes have been pretty loaded. There's a lot of value you can get out of these boxes. Uh, most people are you know, easily making their money back with them. So we'll see if maybe that's the case today, and hopefully we can hit some nice pulls. So we've got uh, one box, I think it has 12 packs, and then each pack has, pull them out here, 15 cards inside. One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. 12 packs, 15 cards per pack. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, let me know what you think. So some of the ones we're looking for, the top hitters are going to be the Fetchlands, of course, and the Modern Horizons throwbacks. So looking for that Force of Negation, um, the, the Urza, those would be the ones we're hoping for. So this is a foil etched island, looks pretty cool. Definitely like that kind of uh, f design there for that, it's pretty sweet. Then we have an extended art Sanctifier in Vec. And this is gonna be our showcase art, World, World Weary, and a Harmonic Prodigy. And our first, this is just a uh, regular foil, this is not the full etched. Ornithopter of Paradise. And then we've got a foil, World Weary. And then our foil etched, Weather the Storm. And a Deep Forest Hermit, not bad. This has got a lot of uh, buzz after all the squirrels from this set. And then we've got a Borderless Foil Endurance. It's a pretty sweet hit there. And we've got a crab squirrel token. All right, so not a bad first pack. We'll take that. Definitely hoping for some better fetch lands after our set booster box did not have very many fetch lands inside. Maybe today we'll get a few more. Chef's Kiss. Gargadon, that's not bad. Dacon Shadow Slayer, I like that art a lot for that one, that's really cool. And Ingenious Infiltrator, Retro Foil. And then a Nested Shambler, Retro Foil. And then a Foil Etched Marble Gargoyle. And a Foil Etched Upheaval. And a foil Ayula Queen Among Bears. Cool card. Not what we were looking for there in that slot. We've got a forest full etched. There we go. Misty Rainforest. Extended art. Nice. First fetch land of the day. Prophetic Titan. Esper Sentinel. Talisman of Hierarchy. I like these talismans. Yeah, they did those. Also a blacksmith skill. Natural foil. And then a foil etched changeling outcast. And a necrogoyf. 
foliage. In a harmonic prodigy foil showcase. Nice Mr. Rainforest there. Not a ton of uh, value in the Uncommons Commons right now. I think there's uh, a couple of Uncommons that are decent. One's pretty nice. We've got a Diamond Lion. Extended art. Jade Avenger. Obsidian Charmaw. And a Foil. Showcase Abundant Harvest and a Glimmer Bairn Retro Border Foil and a Foil Etch Galvanic Relay and nice a Foil Etched Sword of Truth and Justice for Modern Horizons 1. No, this is yeah, Modern Horizons 1. It is and a Verdant Catacombs Extended Art Foil. That's pretty sweet. We'll take that one, that's for sure. Nice. And yeah, in the, in the etched foil slot. Mistress Factory. Not a bad uncommon. Planes. And a soul talisman. Borderless. Phantasmal Dreadnought Showcase. And not bad. A borderless grief. Like that art a lot. There, that's cool. Gargadon. And an ephemerate retro border foil. That is cool too. Yavamaya Elder etched and that long word etched and a dam. We'll take that one too. That is cool. Really like that art and in the retro border foil. Very sweet. That last pack of the first half of the box. And nice, a extended art verdant catacombs. Take that, go with our foil one. Combine chrysalis, priest of fell rights showcase. And we've got a soul snare retro foil and a world weary showcase foil, and a seal of cleansing. Foil etched and a giver of ruins foil etched and a profane tutor. That's pretty cool, too. Extended art foil. All right, first half, I'd say pretty good. I think we're uh, on a pretty good path right now. We can keep it up in the second half. Maybe hit one or two other big bombs. That would be nice. Got Sanctum Weaver. Lens Flare. Grist the Hunger Tide. Showcase Mythic. Check out that art. It's just kind of like a watercolor painting. Lazatep Chancellor. Showcase Foil. Another Glimmer Baron. Foil etched bone shards. A nice, there we go. Foil foil etched misty rainforest. That's a nice one. Take that for sure. And a glimpse of tomorrow. Just a retro foil. Nice. Tide Shaper, not a bad uncommon. Resurgent Belief. Extended Art. Flame Tongue Yearling. Mishra's Factory. Extended Art. Underworld Hermit. 
showcase foil. Talisman of Curiosity, retro foil. Can't really hit any big things in the retro foil slot. Uh, Soul Herder, foil etched. Chainer, Nightmare Adept, foil etched. And Priest of Fail Rites, showcase foil. Ugh, not the best there. Four packs to go. Let's see, can we hit something else big? Got a mountain and Briah's Apprentice. Kitchen Imp. Rise and Shine. Abundant Harvest. Lava Belly Sliver. Retro Foil. Terminal Agony. Full Etched. Out of Time. Oil etched and oh gross. Brave's apprentice. Extended art foil, unfortunately. Kind of wasted a nice slot there on a uh, nice box topper slot. That's okay. Got a marsh flats extended art. There we go, that kind of makes up for it. Floodhound. Nykthos Paragon. Blacksmith Skill, Gargadon, Scale Up, Foil Etched, Rishadan, Dark Hand, no, sorry, Dock Hand, Foil Etched, and a Garth One Eye Showcase Foil. Not bad. We'll take that too. All right, two packs to go. And a bit of force of negation in these two packs. Unlikely. But we'll see. Maybe a Scalding Tarn. Or a Chitter Spitter. Whole little Chitter Spitter. Faithless Salvaging. Oh, there we go. A Cabal Coffers. Borderless. That was some nice art right there. Very sweet. Marble Gargoyle. Faithless Salvaging. Chatterstorm. Is this a squirrel pack? Yavamaya Cradle of Growth. Foil etched. That was a nice foil etched right there. We will take that. And unfortunately, Yesri Fortune's Flame. Is going to be our standard art foil. Kind of striking out on a few of those. Last pack. Can we hit something big in the last pack? Come on. Planes. Ugh. Yesterday, Fortune's Flame. Rakdos Headliner. Dermo Taxi. Once again, Marble Gargoyle, back-to-back -back packs in the slot. Undead Augur. Talisman of Hierarchy. Cursed Totem. Last card. And it is a Timeless Dragon. Retro Foil. All right. So let's do a little recap here. We'll go through some of the hits, pull out some of those rares from our showcase slot. Definitely not a huge fan of the showcase. Um, don't like it as much this set as in past sets. Flip through here, got the foil harmonic prodigy, got the mythic grist, the foil priest of fell rights. And the foil Garth One Eye. And then for our extended art borderless slot, we've got the Cabal of Coffers, the Marsh Flats, Vernant Catacombs, the Grief, Misty Rainforest, and Dakon. Some pretty sweet ones there. Definitely like, uh, glad we got some of those, especially the Coffers. I like that one a lot. And our retro foil slot. I feel like uh, 
This might have been kind of our weaker slot. Definitely disappointed in this this slot right here. I was hoping for a hit or two. It came away with just three rares, no mythics, and the rares weren't the best. I like the dam, but um, the other two were kind of duds on that. So I was hoping for a nice throwback or something, and just didn't hit one there. For our full etched, had some nice full etched ones. The Cradle of Growth was good. Um, also the Ra Misty Rainforest, the Sword of Truth and Justice, and then our Hermit. So those are probably the top three right there. Probably the Misty is the best. And then for our Extended Art, Borderless Foils, we got the Fortune's Flame, the Apprentice, the Tutor, Catacombs and the Endurance. So definitely uh, the Catacombs is the top hit there. So that'll do it for the break, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, comment below. Let me know what you think. Like I said, was pretty happy with this break. Uh, I feel like it's not the, I don't know, maybe not the best break of these I've seen, but definitely not the worst. Um, I did get a decent number of fetch lands and hit a couple of uh, nice foil etched and things like that. Said I'm kind of disappointed in that retro foil slot, but overall, still a fun break. Happy to open that and uh, man, look forward to maybe open some more of this. So stay tuned if I uh, maybe move some of these and can pick up another box. I'll crack it on the channel again. A comment, let me know what you think. If you opened any, if so, what have your pulls been like? Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.